Hey guys, thanks for joining. I'm Scott with the Backyard Ninja Kids, and I have here the Olympian, the master no. champion of all pole vaulters, <laughs> Jacob Poli. That's a little too generous, but thanks for the in the intro. National champion pole vaulter, That's true. Jacob Poli. That's true. Uh, and he introduced me. He said, Scott, you have to reach out to So Right and get one of these because I promise you this will fix everyone's back problems. Why? Why? Tell me about this piece well, of plastic. Well, first of all, let's talk about the first three letters. P-S-O, which is short for your psoas. Your psoas muscle runs through your core, attaches to the hip flexor, and in my experience has been so much a factor in the ongoing back pain that I've had as an athlete and as an old beat-up dad. Many of my back problems come from a tight psoas. Um, what happens is the psoas seems to be compressing my spine and putting me into this kind of uh, uh, position yeah. rather than upright, okay? So I saw this on Instagram or something like that, and I thought, geez, I've had that. I, I've always wondered. You've had like, an idea about I've this. had that idea. I wonder what you could do to have two things because the psoas is like one of the most incredibly hard things to self-treat. You can do all kinds of stretches and a lot of yoga poses and things like that. Yes. Are designed to open up the psoas and release the tension in that in that yeah. lower back. And you've had to self heal yourself a lot. Oh my as goodness! A, I'm, a, I'm a you know I'm a, I was a 200 pound pole vaulter, which is a very wow. heavy pole vaulter. A lot of forces going on there. And how many years in the Olympic trials? How many times? I, I went to the Olympic trials four times. I was an alternate in one of those times. Incredible. Uh, when, I made the world championship team in Osaka, uh, Japan, in 2007. So. But it's hard to compete at that level, so many years in a row and you were starting to feel some pain. Uh, many times, so there'd be times where I would say, okay, I'm gonna, this is the, the month that I'm gonna kick up the core training, and, and every, about every time I would do more for what I believe to be you know, healthy core training, yeah, it would put me into this like back spasms and things like that to the point where I would have sciatic issues, things running down the back of my leg, a lot of calf cramping and calf strains because of it, um, and I never really understood it until now um, I can I can definitely attribute most of that back pain to psoas issues, and a lot of times it's from overtraining or sitting on an airplane when you're six three, you know, all scrunched up. Uh, anyway, I saw this on the internet and I thought, that's a really good idea. If that works, they, these guys are gonna really kill it. And so you got one, got one, brought it to the gym, and I tried it, and I think they're onto something. Um, the idea is the psoas sits so deep in there, and it's, you know, you have your abdominal erectors here, and then the psoas is way in there. It's like even hard for you to fathom where it's at. But this just happens to hit right there. And, the, 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 you know, there's different ways to treat yourself with it, but the very most basic is to lay down on your stomach. On the, do you want to just try it? Let's, let's just demo it quick. Um, and the idea is that you're very gently just going to try to reach in there, and you will feel a, it's a pretty unique feeling when you do... Um, get to that psoas muscle on both sides, yep. it feels like you got kind of punched in the stomach a little bit. So it's about a hand width above your waistband? Is where it would start. Yeah, I think that's a good place to start. And you'll know when you're on it. And you just don't, you don't want to just go slamming down on it. You would just put a little bit of pressure on there and just let that kind of sink in. It's going to take a little mental, yeah. <laughs> it's going to take some mental fortitude as well because you have to really uh, force yourself to sort of slowly relax and slowly settle onto that, the psoas. Right. And I know I may seem like a you know paid uh, a paid uh, worker for so right, but that is not the case. I just saw no. it and I thought, oh my gosh, that somebody uh, went above and beyond and figured out something to do oh, to yeah. self treat so as, which is just absolutely impossible to do. I mean, right? I can literally yeah. feel it pull or release that. Yes. Um, and it reminds me of sitting on a foam roller with my IT band. Yes. Where like if you've ever had tight IT bands and you go to lay on that roller, you. Oh, and you kind of have to pop yourself back up. Yes. And it's Just like this. It's very nervy. It's a very nervy and irritable muscle, too. And same as the IT band. That's funny you made that comparison. They're just very similar in that in that way. That you can go too hard on your IT band, and they get kind of inflamed and a little bit mad at you. Same with the psoas. You definitely want to start off very gentle and very gradual here. But the idea is you'll do just what you just did. Yep. Let those Easy. handles sink into that psoas, and you'll know because it is that same kind of nervy yep. feeling. And... You could do one more. You want to try one more thing here yeah. for me? Yeah. This is a little bit of an active release technique, I guess people would say, like healthcare professionals would say. But you go back into where you were yeah. and let it just sink in there a little bit. And then just about five, six times, do a little half push up. But at the same time, you have to release the low back, release the hips, and just 
do a little push up. And what's happening is you're taking the psoas. Am I, am I staying locked or am I just relax the curve? core? And just the only thing you need to engage is your shoulders, just to push up a little bit. The idea is that we're like a little scorpion. Yeah, exactly. Just like that. Oh, I see. Little, little tiny ones, especially oh, yeah. at the beginning. Just little bits. If you can see here, I'll get out of the way. You can see him doing just a tiny little push up while maintaining the relaxed psoas and core muscles. And the idea there is you're, you're, you're catching that psoas at its shortest state. Yeah. And then you're putting a little pressure in the belly of that muscle and then just sort of lengthen it a little bit and it's gonna, it should release. Now, that's unbelievable. The first time I use this, I mean, weekly I'm having like, I'm on the edge of having back pain, you know, really bad back pain. The first time I used it, I was in pretty trouble, pretty big trouble when you brought it into the gym. And I was like, two minutes, I was like, yep, it works. I, yeah. I, I really believe it works. In fact, you were super excited because he was on the verge and once his back goes out, it, you're done for yeah, a couple of days. Just call me, just call me at home. I'm, a, I'm on the couch <laughs> or in bed at that point. But we could also release the opposite side. Yeah. And I've seen you could use release. Really, this is just a pressure point device. Exactly. You could use it really for anything. Uh, you could use it for forms, leaning on a counter or whatever. But it's really designed hitting that one spot. I know. Isn't that crazy? It, I, I'm always curious, why is it not adjustable? I don't know. I don't know if there's that much variation between adult human psoases. I mean, I have an 11 year old, we could go over and try to measure it at the distance there. But at some point, I think we're all kind of uniform in, in, yeah. in that way. So far out from the spine. Yeah, exactly. Where the muscle is going to be, period. Yeah, that's my guess. I, that's I, I guess I could attach. be wrong there. Yeah. Yep. Um, and they, they do have uh, a tiny version keychain size. <laughs> that's actually really great advertising. <laughs> it comes with a little keychain that uh, it's about this this wide. It's pretty cool. So for your uh, Barbie dolls maybe? Or a, or a rat or a mouse if you mouse. have a mouse at home or pet. Um, so that's fantastic. You know you gotta help them out. You gotta take care of your mice. Especially the wild ones. If you guys are interested we're gonna leave some links down below. Uh, it's an affiliate link so I do get a little kickback but this was not a paid thing. They did send me the so right to try out and I asked Jacob to help me because he's the master of <laughs> all things body because he's had to heal himself so many times yeah. over the years. Yeah, I've been beat up over the years. Bro. So, thanks for joining. If you're interested, link's down below. Thanks for watching. See ya. See ya.